Hello guys, this is Didi Berry Connect. Please enjoy news from Afghanistan, which has been extracted from BBC News pertaining to the Taliban effect upon the Afghanistanians. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. There have been further chaotic scenes outside the international airport in Kabul as thousands of Afghans try to flee the country following its fall to the Taliban. In response to the developing humanitarian crisis, the UK has said it will take 20,000 Afghan refugees over a number of years. But in Parliament, where MPs were recalled for an emergency debate, Labour attacked the figure as too small. And the government came in for scathing criticism from some Conservative backbenchers over the withdrawal of Western and troops that led to the Taliban's return to power. Tonight, Afghanistan's deposed president, Ashraf Ghani, who's fled to the United Arab Emirates, said he had no intention of staying in exile. For our first report on Afghanistan tonight, let's go live to Kabul and join our correspondent, Sekunda Kamani. Sekunda. Well, residents here are still grappling with what this Taliban takeover will mean for their lives. In some parts of the city, things seem to be getting back to normal, but there are many who are still deeply, deeply anxious. Outside the airport, chaos continues. Thousands are still desperate to leave the country. Here, a girl, terrified. The Taliban are coming for me, she cries. This family has been camped outside here for five days. The situation here is very bad, she says. No one wants to live here. Everyone wants to live in peace and to be able to study. We want to go anywhere that is safe. Despite assurances from the Taliban that anyone linked to the government will be given an amnesty, many here are deeply fearful for their future. And that's why we're still seeing these chaotic scenes at the airport. No one's clear yet what comes next. But political discussions have begun. This was the arrival of a deputy leader of the Taliban in Kandahar, their spiritual home. Whilst this is a member of the notorious Haqqani family, deeply entrenched in the Taliban's leadership, meeting with former President Hamid Karzai and other senior Afghan politicians. In a speech tonight from the Gulf, the former President Ashraf Ghani said he supported the efforts and hoped to return to the country. That seems unlikely. In the centre of Kabul, early signs everyday life is beginning to resume. Heavily armed Taliban patrols are all around. But shops and streets are busier than they've been since the takeover. It's not the same as before, says this man. People are scared but it's better than the past few days at least. There are far fewer women out and about than before, and they're dressed more conservatively, though not in the all-encompassing burqa. Many major businesses have sent female employees home, unsure whether the Taliban will allow them to work. But there have been signs of defiance. This is a protest in support of the Afghan flag, replaced in some areas by the Taliban's a number of demonstrators. Also comment below what you think.